Okay, I got a quick overview of this particular title. I called it Guitar Tab. I don't know what I was thinking. It's animatable. It's got some interesting features and I have no clue what use it would be to anybody except for maybe guitar instruction kinds of videos, but you know, I was bored. So up here at the first you've got the list of chords. Now I have to explain that this is probably the most difficult part to explain in this entire thing. You can create a list of the chord progressions here. Okay, whatever chord you need, you just go ahead and put the new chord on the new line. You can even add notes out because you see you've got about this much space for the text coming out. So I've got this little list, one chord per line, and then in this section, I would keyframe the line here so that the chord would show up as the transitions up here make sense. You can set the fret start number. to 15. Uh, it's a pretty good span of the fingerboard and you'll notice that the fretboard dots follow along and the nut disappears when you leave the first fret. Now I've got it set for no mark here and then the first fret basically still open and then when you get to the second one the nut disappears okay so you can chart out how you want the fingering to go there's a bar eight here you can set up this kind of notation here and you can do partial bar two is the minimum uh, it doesn't make any sense to do a bar eight on one string. And we'll bring this back down to zero because I don't need it. And then you have six strings here and basically you just move the dots up the strings like that. And if you're keyframing you would make a keyframe position then you would go to the frame before you wanted to make the next transition you know as far as timing is concerned mark another keyframe at the same as the one before, go to the next frame and then mark the change in position so that they change in an appropriate matter unless you want to keyframe the transition from one to the other and in that case the dots are going to disappear in the middle as they move up. Okay, This was a sequence replicator behavior and that's about the best I could get without it blurring and whatever. So anyway, so you have one for each string. Uh, you'll notice up here I've indicated that these are open strings. You've got a list of things that you can do starting with just clear it. First one is to mute. Second one is to open. The H is for hammer. The P is for pull or pull off. S is for slide and then you can set each one of these notes so if you wanted to indicate the tuning so for that we got like E B G D A and E right there. You can change the decoration a little bit. You can fade out the backdrop. You can overlay this with a, you can fade it out and just position this and overlay it on a, if you've got a good view of the fingerboard and you want to uh, rotate this, you can use a rotation position and you can superimpose this over somebody actually playing. 
and take out the backdrop like that this bevel decoration helps the cords and the extraneous stuff on the outside be a little bit more readable and you can change how that appears just create a border and you can change the, the color all the typical things that I throw in for you to do so there it is pretty much reset everything this is the default view center of the screen with the standard tuning and just about everything can be keyframed even the chord changes so that you don't have to keep chopping this title up into tiny little pieces every time you want to make a change you can make this title as long as you need it to be and then just go through and make your changes in that one title usually I'd say I hope you find this useful this is probably the lamest title I've ever done <laughs> But I'm a guitarist. I just had to do it. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope you can find some use for it. And I will catch you on the next one. Yes, Gadget, I will.